Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to share with you my current progression of rebuilding my entire outpost in New Atlantis. It used to be three interconnected outposts. I reduced that down to two and it's going to be a big project. But I made a lot of progress for this first video and I want to give you guys a tour. Hopefully give you guys some ideas some inspiration and maybe get ideas and inspiration from you in the comment section uh, because yeah I do have for example that penthouse that I'm trying to build right there it is pretty much finished uh, I don't think I'm adding any more levels but I realized that it just takes so much to decorate the interior so I do have quite a lot of floors that are still empty I also have this kind of connection of hubs and the idea, the inspiration behind this, the whole circle thing is the Apple campus, right? But that one is a beautiful thing. It's a complete circle. We cannot do such a thing in here in this game. So I try to kind of connect outposts next to each other and just create this kind of oval shape with a nice garden in the middle. And the way that I'm going to separate this is this area here is going to be all research and development offices crew stations and the crew living quarters and things like that now this one in here is going to be a conference room and my office and this section here which i do actually have the entire thing all decorated is all hangout places it's all place for fun for hanging out and things like that so all that is already decorated and i'm going to show you the interior when we do the tour and of course we also have this which is more of a military section so there's going to be a lab and an armory and things like that is going to be all in there and then of course the main event the main thing in here is this structure the penthouse so i have now my own penthouse the entire building is basically going to be all decorated as a big large house just for me for my character originally the idea was to have crew quarters in the lower levels but as i was decorating some of the areas some of the floors i realized you know what i can just make the whole thing for me like a big ass billionaire penthouse type of thing the entire building for me so we're gonna take a look at all of these and what I have here, this location is called Andresia Town. And then on the other location, it's going to be Saraville. And there's going to be more of a biology type of thing. I haven't started there other than having the pier and then the landing pad. So it's going to expand. You may have noticed that I'm using a lot of see-through hubs. And that is because I have a see-through policy in my outpost. Giggity. Without further ado, I'm gonna take you guys to look at the interior, how everything is decorated. And at the end of the video, I will show you all the mods that I'm using. Let's go in from here. Let's start from this floor here. And what we have is a bar. It's a bar area. Not too much, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of items. Very simple, very clean, not too much, but just, all the necessaries just to make it into a bar and I do have also NPCs just walking around not a lot I did not populate with too many I think just some security guards and a couple of uh, NPCs upstairs here what we have is a launch area with a pool table some decorations a library the big statue at the top uh, this might be a uh, a structure hazard but I think everything is working just fine and as we go out this is the nice part so I wanted to kind of make this outdoor sitting area this is nice I like this a lot so a lot of sitting areas in here this is the circle one I have some lights and there is now a connection so I put three carpets or rugs to lead into this other area which is a little bit longer this is the oval shape one so I was able to add just a few more sitting areas a few more kind of nicer modern looking couches and this is beautiful view you can see the building and you can see you know 
the, the lake and there is new alternatives on the distance which by the way i don't know why some of the buildings are not rendering after the update i'm not sure if it's a mod causing it or if it's the update itself that caused it so if anybody knows how to solve that let me know uh, otherwise i'm gonna try to reinstall the game and see if that solves it uh there's the pier you can see and it's very nice we're gonna go there later so let's continue and by the way uh i'm using the mod called better halves and doors or buildable halves and doors and this door here you can actually walk without your character getting stuck so yeah there are a couple of doors the ones that opens up here that one doesn't work the character gets stuck but the one that has the thing in the middle the character does not get stuck even though you can see that there's quite a bit of a distance um so yeah just be aware of that it's actually it's a good thing so same thing on the other side so the doors with the platform with the entrance cut out in the middle uh your character will not get stuck when walking so i used a lot of those and up in here we have a gym and uh, this is kind of a gym with weightlifting and things like that so pretty simple some punching bags and we also have you know washing areas as we go down we also have a continuation of a gym but this is more like a yoga place you know for all the female crews because in these outposts we like our female crew members to stay tight so yeah there is a yoga place just for them and uh, uh, this is one of the doors now that leads to the outside and we can see that is the other side of this campus of this outpost which is not complete it is still under construction all right let's go let's go back in and let's go to the other side in this side we also have another sitting area living area and uh, to hang out with a ping pong table so there is a little bit of sports in here and uh, you can see all of this place and i think okay let's do let's do this area this is another lounge area just to sit and yeah some tables as well tv uh, basically this whole place is a hangout place and here is the first half that we came in the bar area so it connects to a lounge there's a lounge upstairs there's a bit of a gaming area in here uh, i should have put another gaming table somewhere here but yeah, it's okay uh, let's go down now what i have here is a, basically a kitchen right because all the food everything has to come from somewhere and so there is a kitchen for cooking and all the stuff a few breakfast tables and as we go in here here is where i things kind of went out of hand i wasn't sure what else to do with this hub here and i kind of turned it into a, a shop i guess it kind of like you know those japanese shops where you go in and it's just all vending machines so this is what this is bunch of vending machines where yeah i guess people can come over here uh buy food etc etc and i throw in a bathroom too on the on this side i just have this this bathroom kind of took me a lot of time it's super bright right now inside here um, but i had to add these extra walls because the standard wall inside it wasn't clean enough for me so i ended up doing this there's only one pooper here in the middle so everybody is going to fight for it and then we have some shower so i ended up doing this shower i i couldn't get the doors i mean i mean i could but the doors were all very big uh didn't didn't work out too well so i ended up doing the shower this way where you know i put a wall and a divider and there you go so that is the bathroom and all right let's go take a look at the outside a little bit so from the kitchen you can just walk out and i have this pier installed and I, I love this place i love this area and this is the outside so there's the pier and i think there's one npc who's just always standing patrolling here and there and i know that i have another i think npc somewhere around here as well but anyway so yeah a pier with a couple of uh i guess porsches uh, they call it uh, the, the actual part is called a Porsche and I have a few here where 
I have some displays, a mech sitting area, and put a few of those vine dividers and more lights. Uh, by the way, these lights, the, the white ones, they're too bright at night. The yellow ones, I think those are like the perfect brightness. So if you do something like that, I would suggest go with the color ones. They're also coming blue and red. Just avoid the white ones. They're just too bright at night. And um, there's another sitting area here with another display. This is the Vanguard. So very nice. And as you go all the way to the end, I have some telescopes and a sitting area and a fireplace. And uh, this is just a sitting area just for me. And by the way, the view is fantastic. Uh, let me just sit down and you see the fireplace. The new Atlantis is right across. And yeah, just a nice view, nice, nice view. So yeah, there you have it. And over here, I just have a gazebo, some ponds. Fantastic looking. It's, it's, it looks very nice here. And I also installed this, you know, starborn type of thingy. It just looks nice, you know, something that moves. And there I have a watchtower. I didn't do anything with the watchtower. It's all empty. And let me now take you guys to the other side. Another fireplace, some sitting areas right here. And here. And uh, you can see I have two NPCs just dancing. Uh, these two are always dancing. And I also have the music coming from this radio here. And you can change the type of music that you want. Uh, the pop one is the one that I'm using right now, which is the same music that you hear in Paradiso at the very top level. I really like that music. So I have it here going on. So this is kind of like my own little Paradiso. And over here, so I have this kind of one, you know, garden uh, that I put in here. Uh, oh man, these trees showed up. Man, I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of this. Uh, but this turned into a volleyball court. And I put a big ass carpet, like a two, actually two carpets. But they don't look like carpets. They kind of fit, I think, as a volleyball thingy. Looks like the NPCs are all hanging out here for some reason. Okay, and uh, another seating area with another fireplace here. You should be going to work. Send back to work. Not chilling. And yeah, so this is this area here. And I have another kind of, you know, area, sitting area, outdoor eating area. The idea is to turn my last floor here into a bar or coffee shop. But I couldn't find a coffee sign. So kind of like Paradiso, right? You have some stores below and then you have the hotel kind of at the top. Let's now go to the top. So let's take a look at some of the levels. Uh, not all the levels are decorated. So let me just go up there really quick. All right, we are here on the first floor. I have to do something here with this area, with this hub. Uh, it might be another living room or sitting area. But here we have the main dining room. This is my dining room. It's just for my character and Andresia or Sarah. And we have a bar just for me. And yeah, so this is that. And I like this. I have just one of the cars, model cars, just here, the vehicle, the Revate. So that's kind of nice. And this is kind of nice too. I can see two big ass statues right outside the window in one side and the other side. Why are they there? Is that structurally sound? It's not, but it's fine. And then I can also see my ship, my big ass ship on the other side. And now let's go up. And here, this is this I like a lot. So I ended up doing another outside balcony, but this one with a, a hot tub so yeah there's a hot tub here and you can sit as well so if you want to you know you can just sit and i have another sitting area here and it just it's just gray view it's just gray view 
Uh, you can see ships coming in, going out, of course. It's very nice. It's just be able to see, you know, all the surroundings. So this was fantastic. I was really happy with this. And I also have a big ass dragon uh, hanging over at the top. So, <laughs> all right, let's go now to the top, top levels. And I really wish we had elevators for our outposts because I had to kind of do, you know, one double here to lead to another double here so that you can use one stair to go up to another level and then switch to another stair to go up. So this is how the interior kind of got done. And if we had something like elevators, things would be easier. Or if we had like a, you know, big one long tall uh, stair structure, that would be fantastic. But anyway, so, and we come up here, this is the top floor and it is the bedroom, my bedroom and the bathroom. So this here is the bathroom. So there is a bit of a sitting area there. And here I ended up making a bathroom. So I couldn't make, you know, walls um, kind of dividing it in other ways. And this kind of looks good. So there's a shower and instead of a door, you know, again, the bathroom, the toilet became kind of like this and uh, toilet and I could sit on the toilet if I want to. So there you have it, <laughs> just to see. So we have the three seashells. If you know what they're for, you know what they're for. And they will have the toilet paper here. By the way, if it bothers you that the paper is coming from under, you can flip it. I know that that is something that bothers a lot of people, including myself, when the toilet paper is not going over it. So you can change it. So, all right, there you have it. And then, yeah, we have, you know, the, the two sinks and things like that. We have a laundry here. And outside, I made another smaller balcony here just to the back of the outpost it's just the uh, sitting areas two sitting areas and very very mi minimalistic so yeah there you have it and i have the one of those uh, landing capsules and i have another big uh, statue here at the top and let's go continue with the inside and i have two lights here and some statues and i went with the girthy ones here you know because girth is good when you have girth the door frame is going to fill you when you enter so girth is always good all right and here is the bedroom the bedroom looks actually nice i like it i have the bed in the center with the nice stand and the tissue papers you know for cleaning up the nasty icky icky stuff and uh yeah this is nice some sitting area and aquariums i have three of those and uh, very nice and an obstructive view i didn't want to put anything here on these uh windows here because i wanted to be able to have the the view completely unobstructed and there you can see the ship be able to see the entire outpost is pretty sweet so that's that and that is pretty much uh, all there is with these uh, outposts so far so there's still a lot of work to do right uh, oh I have a soccer field here I forgot to uh, show you guys so yeah there is a soccer field uh, why not you know it is it is here that is the building and I also have a garage here and I put oh my god these rocks how do I there used to be a mod that you could use an axe to get rid of things that you don't want but after the latest update that axe stopped working and I cannot use it to get rid of things so if anybody knows a mod that works to remove you know things like these uh, rocks and trees uh, let me know please so anyway here is a garage i have some extra rep aids uh, of course these are just for show they don't actually uh, work or drive and uh, yeah but anyway so i might i might add more things into this garage we'll see okay oops let's not run over her uh let's go and to the 
other side. I really, I really wish I could. Uh, oh, hey, here's another security guard uh, just patrolling. Good job, good job. So this is the landing pad that I ended up using. I like that it has this ramp and it is not as uh, tall as the default one. All right, so there you have it. That is the uh, outpost current progression of what I have going on. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, of course, please let me know. Leave them down in the comments. Uh, help me figure out what else, how I can decorate some of those additional floors that I have uh, down there uh, in between. So yeah, I'm pretty much this area. I already have a plan. So I already kind of know everything what I want to do uh, with all these areas in here. It's just a matter of getting into it, which I think it might be easier. It might be faster than decorating these hubs here. All right, let's talk about all the mods that I am using. So first up, let's get the pay mod out of the way first. Uh, it is the TG's Luxury Homes Volume 1. I already have a video covering this the entire mod. So if you're interested, you can watch that video. I put it in the link. Otherwise, you can also find it in my Starfield playlist. But this mod is the one that you get the big walls, the big gates uh, that I have surrounding the outpost, the gazebo and things like that is coming from this specific mod. The next important mod that I'm using is the better outpost hubs with doors. So this is the one that gives me all those additional double hubs that I have used to create a building, the penthouse. So that is from this mod as well as the doors that I'm using instead of, you know, airlocks. I also have this one single mod just for the aquarium. It is called Aquarium Outpost Decoration. So it's just for that aquarium that you saw in the bedroom at the top. Then I also have Betamax's Functional Decor and the vending machines is from here. A lot of other decorations are coming from this mod. And I gotta tell you, half of the battle is actually going through the build menu and checking out all the available now new items that you have. So uh, the other mod that I have is the better buildable walls and doors. The latest one, the, the one that has the word better on it. The previous one, I think is just called buildable walls and doors. And this is the one that I used to build those bathrooms. Then I also have the better living houses decor furniture. This one is by Stack GX. Then there is also another mod that I'm using uh, for the statues is called the Inquisitor statues of Starfield. So those big ass statues, that is where this mod comes in. Uh, so I have this one is called Scrappy Structures by Mills Builds. They also have a YouTube channel. You can check it out. Uh, a lot of inspiration I stole from that channel. So big shout out to Mills Builds. And last but not least, I have the Scalis Emporium All-in-One Part 1. This is also for a lot of interior decorations. This is probably my first interior decoration mod that I downloaded. So I use this one quite a lot, quite extensively. Those are all the mods that I use. I will put the list in the description and all of these is from creations. I am not using like a third party mod manager like Nexus or anything like that. All of this is in game. So once you go to the creations menu, just search for the name of those mods and you should be able to see them. All right, so there you have it. Hopefully I can get you guys the final version, the final build of the output soon enough. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, support my channel. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I see you all in the next video.